Creating awesome scrolling effects in breakdance is really easy. I want to show you how to create this scrolling parallax effect in breakdance. I found this image on unsplash.com. I downloaded it and imported it into Photoshop so I could cut out three different layers from it. The sky, the mountain and the bottom part with this tiny little house here. I exported the images as PNG files and imported them into my WordPress installation so I could use them in Breakdance. So let's dive right into Breakdance and add a section at first. All right, and inside this section, we would need um, three different images for each layer. So we start with the sky first. And as you can see, there's some spacing going on right here. To remove it, we select the section, go to size, and then we change the height to, uh, sorry, the width to full width. And we add zero padding at all. All right. Then we add the second image, the mountain. Just rename the first one as sky, the second one as mountain. And as you can see, the, the image is placed below the sky and we want them to overlap each other. So we search for position, add absolute and um, bottom right and left for the mountain image. Then let's give it a Z index. We use five right here for the mountain. And now we add the last image, which will be the bottom part with the tiny little house. And now it's behind the mountain. So we also add a Z index right here, 10 to bring it up front. Search for position, absolute bottom zero, right and left zero. All right, let's save it. Check out the front view. And as you can see, there's still a little gap on the right side here. This is because the, the images are only 1980 pixels wide and my screen resolution is bigger. So I will have to add a width to each of these images 100%. To make it fit to the screen. All right, let's see. Perfect. And as you can see, the mountain is not showing up um, at, um, at the top, the top end of the mountain, because it's outside of the section. And this is because of the we 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 didn't set a height for the section so let's select the section and add height custom and now we could add maybe pixels something around 1800 maybe and set individual heights for each breakpoint because when we just leave 1800 and switch to another viewport you can see the, the layers are not overlapping each other anymore but i don't want to set individual heights for each breakpoint now so i used simply use viewpoint width and add um, 140 to make it a little bit higher than your viewport width so when we change to another breakpoint now okay there's still some a little space here so we might add 130. All right, looks good. Just save it. All 
Great. Okay, now let's add some animations. To, uh, so we select the sky layer at first and um, go to scrolling animations and enable them. And sorry, scrolling animations. And um, we want the stars to zoom out a bit when we start scrolling and maybe blur a bit and um, reduce the opacity to make uh, the, the sky a little bit darker when we start scrolling. So at first we would have to add a background color to the section as well, a black color. And then we'll go back to the sky, go to scale. We start with a bigger one, well, one would be 100%. We would start with maybe 1.2 and um, reduce it to one just to show it uh, a little bit better i add a higher value so you can see when i start scrolling it starts zooming out already so i reduce this again maybe to 1.3 and now let's add some blur we start with zero blur at all and and zero maybe in the middle also and at the end we maybe 15 maybe 12 all right it starts blurring like that and opacity we start with one which means it's uh, visible 100 percent and then at the end maybe 1.6 and we don't want to start it right from the beginning just like so, like that. Works great. Okay, now we se select the mountain, animations, scrolling animations, enable animations, and we want the mountain to um, scale up when we sc start scrolling. So we use scale again, we start from zero and at the end, maybe 1.5, just like so. It's a bit too much, maybe 1.4, just like that. And at the beginning, we want to add some blur. So you can just see the indication of the mountain at first, maybe 12 and zero in the middle. So at the end, just like that. And maybe let's add some rotation. Maybe at the beginning we, we rotate the mountain a little bit to the left. So we add some um, a minus value, maybe two, two only and then Nice. All right, then the tiny house layer. We add um, scrolling animations here also. So we start with the vertical positioning. We start from maybe minus 20. Oh no, that's too much. Maybe minus 10 viewport height. So zero and zero. And maybe some scaling from one to one point two, one point four. Just 
like that. Let's save it and check it out in the front view. Just look at that. Awesome. All right. Now the, um, the animation is, um, tied directly to my um, scrolling movement. When I stop scrolling, the animation stops instantly and I want the animation to, um, be a little bit smoother. So when I stop scrolling, I want the animation to, um, still go on for a limited amount of time. So I go to scrolling animation advanced for the tiny house and then add um, a value to the scrub field right here. So I add maybe uh, 500. And I also do that for the other two layers right here. Advanced scrub maybe 600 for the mountain. That's a bit too much, maybe 400, 300, 400. It's a bit too much for the house, just 300 maybe. And also for the sky, 300, maybe 400 here. All right. That should make it a lot smoother. Maybe a little bit more scrub for the mountain. Oops, I don't know how to scrub. Oh, it's only four, which that's wrong. We need 400, that's why it's not working. Yeah, look at that. And as you can see, there's some overlapping, some uh, issues right down right here. This is because um, we didn't set overflow to uh, hidden for the section layer. So overflow needs to be set to hidden. So let's change this a little quick and check it out right here. Perfect. All right. Now let's add one more layer to it. Maybe a heading element and we add um, a headline, mountain explorer. Uh, typography, white color. And let's go to the section and um, uh, under layout, align, center, everything. And we want to change the typography maybe to something bold, maybe some, oops, something like so. Change the font weight to maybe 500. that and reduce the line height to maybe one and then I want to uh, want the heading um, to show up between the house and the mountain so we would have to add um, the set index as well maybe seven Position absolute bottom, we add maybe something like 25%. We do not need left and right now because we already sent out the section, the content inside the section. Let's check this out. Just look at that. Now let's add some animation to the headline as well. 
animation, scrolling animation enabled, vertical positioning, maybe 20 viewport height. Oops, sorry, not at the end, at the beginning. And back to zero, maybe something like that. All right, that looks great. Maybe some opacity as well. We start from zero to one and one, like so. Just look at that. Right, and also we also add some scrub to this layer, maybe 400 to smoothen it out a little bit. Awesome. And now let's check out other breakpoints. It's a little bit too big right here in the font size, so let's reduce it just a bit. Check the mobile view. Okay, now the, the section is not high enough. It's not um, filling the whole viewport right here, and we can't, we're not able to scroll down. So let's add some content below the section as well. So we need another section. We need another heading element. Just center the section, add some white color, just like so, and add some text to it, maybe some lower ipsum. mistake I have to switch to the desktop section otherwise I'm only making the change for the smaller breakpoint so let's fix this a little quick typography this should be maybe something like that just a bit more white space uh, size Maybe just something like that for now. Now we got this parallax scrolling animation. That's it for now, guys. I hope you liked it. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.